So today we are going to talk about Wi-Fi 6E, second video, and what is so important today is Cisco has announced new Cisco Catalyst 9136 access point. And what does it do? So it is the best in the class, non-compromised Wi-Fi 6E access point, which provides the entire new six gigahertz band with 59 non-overlapping channels that we talked about last time. But on the top of that, the most important thing is we are not living behind the existing environment. As we know, we might not have all the devices. All the end users' devices are not there with Wi-Fi 6E. We know that with Intel, there are a lot of devices that are coming up and new and new end user devices are going to be there in this year and following year that will support 6E. So what's best about Catalyst 9136 access point? Let's dig into it. It is the first Pi radio with 16 spatial streams for client serving. Think about it, 16. What does it mean? How many radios that it can support? We will get into it. It is the best in the class. After our 9130, 802.11ax, this is the next one. So what does it do, right? What is so special? Let's jump right into it. So it is going to provide first 2.4 gigahertz, slot zero, four by four. Second, five gigahertz, hard radio, five gigahertz. So you are going to have dual five gigahertz. So even though you design your network right now with five gigahertz to support your current clients, you do not need to worry about it that, hey, what if we want to move to six gigahertz? But always think about how you're going to design it. It's the best practice to design it from the six gigahertz point of view because of the cell size that's going to be reduced. On the top of that, it is going to be what else is has? Six gigahertz, four by four, not two by two. We want to have the best in the class for our purpose. Dedicated AI machine learning driven scanning radio. What does it do? So we remember how our interference, DFS channels, scanning radio is dedicated towards that, right? Continues to monitor your wireless network where you can take your intelligent packet capture, right? And the fast route to try to figure it out, the location. This is, we talked about, the, that is the slot three. And now we have, and we talked about scanning radio. What else that we have it? We have on the top of that IoT radio as well, where your IoT devices can connect and provide. So think about it, all the outcomes that we have used and talked about in DNA spaces. And top of it, we have the most important thing as we are coming out of this COVID situation. What's important that as our students are coming back, employees are coming back, we would like to provide them the best environment, right? Where they feel safe. And on the top of that, it is a research conducted that more oxygen that you have it in an enterprise or your students, they are able to learn fast. They are being more productive. So considering all that, we can use that data. So we have three new sensors and environmental sensors built in this access point. So what does it do? Humidity, oxygen, and all great things are available with it, right? So you can utilize that data to monitor your edge work and proactively automate that, that we can reduce or increase temperature when needed. We have been waiting for that for a long time, right? So we talked about, hey, everything is faster. How can we serve it, right? We need to have 10 gigs uplink. 
we are going to have dual 5 gigahertz multi gig yes in lag mode it can support that 10 gigabits per second and this is the first access point where we have tested it and we have seen more than one gig on a mobile device and that is astonishing that is something that we really look forward to what else it can do moving on what does it do what does it work on right so it is doing all the great things right what our 802.11 ax has been doing 1024 qualm right ofdma on the top of that beam forming is there downlink and uplink and bss coloring and transmit wake up time all that combination of package of the way that 802.11 ax designed we are using that with wi-fi 6e so it is going to be our lti mode access point because it has been designed for indoor unify and uni 7. ios xe version that it is going to be supported at 17.7 and onwards all the great things about maximum transmission power that we talked about it in 2.4 23 5 gigahertz 26 6 gigahertz 23 dbm as well channel width yes that's important remember the faster speeds how we can utilize and why is it going to be more new normal to use 80 megahertz depending upon the number of channels are going to be if the number of channels are going to be available as 40 and above using 80 megahertz does it's a no-brainer we can depending upon the environment but 40 megahertz is definitely we feel more confident to use it. Again, it depends upon your end plan devices, what are we going to use it, and so on. Important thing we need to notice over here is EWC is not going to be supported, but all important things that is controller-based modes like local flex connect OE monitor and sniffer, they are going to be supported. On top of that, we do not need to carry anything else in order to do the site survey. We are going to have a special site survey mode for this access point that you connect to your battery and get it done. That's how simple it is going to be. This is one of the most important things that dual 5 gigahertz or 5 gig are going to be connected. And that is going to be a lot better. And look at the mechanical design that is being done, right? This is what the 9130 was. So what else that we can do? There are a lot of good things and great that we are talked about. But with this, with 9136, we are going to have Clean Air Pro that is going to take care about full spectrum from 2.45 and 6 gigahertz band support. It's an entire machine learning and AI driven scanning radio that we talked about. It is going to take care. And interference classification, DFS enhancement, all that is needed. Intelligent packet capture, right? How we are going to make a better decision of air and Clean Air Pro is going to be there in 9136. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned. We are going to talk about what's there with the security, right? What's with the 9136 and Wi-Fi 6E or 6 gigahertz, we talked about it, where the security is required, why PMF is required, why WPA3 is there, and what does the hash to element will be there? Thank you.